18th of December 2014. Um, I just need to make a quick update because I'm about six weeks um, pre-stop. Um, so I just wanted to have it a documentation of what that looked like. Um, everything's healing up really well. I'm really, really happy with the results. Like, they're really good. Um, this side is stretched more than this side just because I have been overusing it. Um, I have complications on this side so I sort of protected it up more, but it's actually in turn healed um, with much thinner scars, probably just because I haven't been using it. Um, everything else is pretty much back to normal. There is this, this nipple is still a bit like, I'm not sure, doesn't really look like a nipple. Um, but it'll get there. It just needs some, some love and care. Um, I'm not sure how long I've been on tea for, like, three and a half months, maybe? It'll be four months on the 5th of January, so, yeah, I guess it's like, yeah, three and a half months. Um, and I'm still not noticing many changes at all, um, except for, with some acne happening now. Look, a really weird one here. In here, and a little bit like under here. It's not too bad. Like I really thought it would be worse because my first puberty, my acne was horrific. So I was really expecting like, like full face breakout, full. But it's it, it's pretty tame. Um, I guess I just hope it stays that way. Um, I definitely noticed a lot of mental shifts, but yeah, physically, physically. Not really, so hopefully that will kick in soon. Um, I really, really want to go traveling next year, um, but I'm really not willing to do that if I don't pass, um, because a lot of the places that I want to go, I don't want to be visibly queer. Like I want to go visit my friend who's going to be in Africa. Um, I really want to go to India. Although that's probably not such a big deal. Um, and I want to go through Europe, which of course, again, is fine. Like, it's fine if I don't pass in Europe. But yeah, if I do want to visit my friend in Egypt, the idea of not passing and being in this, like, a country that's already a dangerous place to travel, um, and where it's not okay to be queer or trans, I just have a lot of hesitations about it. So I would much, much, much prefer by then to have all my documents in order and to pass. Even a little bit would be good. So, anyway, I'll show you what my chest looks like because this really is going to be a quick update because I am going to make a proper life update maybe in the next couple of days. But I'm about to meet a friend for coffee. I just wanted to show my chest. Um, yeah, so this is what it looks like. Um, six weeks post up. And I, yeah, this is what it looks like six weeks post up. Um, I'm really happy <laughs> with the incision lines. Um, they're quite straight. Not straight. This side is way thinner. The scar line because I didn't I had like protected this side because this is where I had the hematoma. Um, and it's still a bit swollen here, but it's going down. This side's healed out really nicely. I even got a little bit of healing back in this one. Um, not overly. Like it's not. But sometimes I can feel it, and it reacts to the cold. But this one. Like, I'm not looking at my chest. I don't really know where it is. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy with it. I think you did a really good job. Um, I'm looking forward to like maybe getting a bit more definition on my chest. <laughs> I have no muscles at all. Um, that's probably because I don't work out at all ever. I've never set foot in the gym, so I guess I can't really um. Uh, I also got my dog back, which is cool. She's, yeah, asleep. Um, so getting her back kind of, you know, it feels like recovery. Like I can, I can walk a 35 kilo dog again. And I should go back to work in the next week or two. So yeah, anyway, I'll make a full look. I have a full life update soon, but that's what my chest looks like. Six weeks post-op.